Mi nombre es Santiago, soy de Tierra Buena, eh, un emprendimiento que comercializa eh, productos orgánicos, verduras, pollos, conservas, eh, hechos por pequeños productores familiares, agroecológicos y algunos no tan pequeños, asociaciones. I know Santiago for a few years now. We became friends when I rented an apartment from him and a few months ago he told me that he was working on his business for selling organic vegetables in the Buenos Aires area and he not only sold his produce but other people's uh, products. Personalmente apunto a que la agricultura eh, sirva para, para vivir. Santiago told me that he wanted to expand his customer base, he wanted to expand his business and he didn't know how. And since he knew that I was in tech, maybe I was able to help. For Tierra Buena, accepting payments online through PayPal or credit card was a problem because they need the funds right away to pay for their operations and the fees are very expensive for what they can pay. Also, they're not very good at dealing with bureaucracy, so they needed someone to do that for them. So I thought if we do it with Bitcoin, I can set them up completely. Siendo huerteros o pequeños agricultores, no tenemos la posibilidad muchas veces de una línea crediticia ni un medio de pago de una tarjeta de crédito. I saw an opportunity to bring Bitcoin to an ecosystem where it was not yet known, which was the organic farmers community. Nos dimos cuenta que, que el Bitcoin era la manera más fácil y libre de comisiones que, te, que, que teníamos. He understood immediately what Bitcoin was all about and he realized that it was going to solve some of his problems, some problems that wouldn't allow for businesses like his to exist in the current scenario. Era muchísimo más sencilla que utilizar una tarjeta de crédito y estaba totalmente desregulada. So I told him that I could set up a website for him and he could be taking Bitcoin payments online and we started working on it and one week after we had a website running selling vegetables online. It solves a bunch of issues for him. Not only receiving payments but also taking orders and keeping track of who ordered what and how they pay. Personalmente para mí es un, un mecanismo de pago eh, muy similar a una tarjeta de crédito pero con la virtud que tiene eh, de no tener un intermediario como los bancos eh, y ser muchísimo más fácil de usar. Although they're not using Bitcoin directly and they might not know what it is about, other farmers working the Tierra Buena network are getting a benefit from it. Tierra Buena es la primer, el primer emprendimiento en Argentina y quizás me atrevería a decir el mundo que está comercializando eh, productos orgánicos, verduras mieles y ese tipo de cosas en Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin empowers small farmers to get together and organize themselves and reach their market directly without any middleman. Tal vez sea la, la herramienta social más importante que hayamos descubierto porque nos permite trabajar y cobrar de una manera totalmente desregulada. Si somos libres en cuanto a sembrar Nuestra propia semilla, no comprando la marca ni la patente de una multinacional para poder plantar ni pedirle permiso a nadie, tampoco podemos que pedirle permiso a nadie sobre qué hacer con nuestro dinero. Something interesting I noticed while working with Santiago and other farmers in the Tierra Buena network is how decentralized their structure is. And I noticed that you can draw some parallelisms between that and the decentralized origins of Bitcoin as well. Yo creo que la opción de la agricultura orgánica, la agricultura agroecológica, nos hace trabajar en algo que no sea contaminante tanto internamente como eh, para el consumidor. Productos sanos en todo sentido. <música>